The bullet breach in the structure that separated millions and claimed hundreds of lives. That was 1989. The world was up for grabs. All the money, power, natural resources, hell, even borders were negotiable. Soviet Union, a great world superpower, was collapsing. And whereas some saw freedom, the young, imaginative Minister Zhang saw a possibility, a new world order. So Zhang formed an investment group called Deus. The goal? Bring together the world's wealthiest, most powerful men to consolidate control and manipulate global events for profit. Zhang courted dignitaries, world leaders, oligarchs, businessmen, and he was a damn good salesman. The potential profit outweighed anyone's moral reservations, which was proven true in an early endeavor. The first Gulf War. Something is happening outside. The skies over Baghdad have been illuminated. A few backroom deals, a promise here, a bribe there, like that, the Deus Group was rich on oil and had a foothold in the military-industrial sector. With the right players in place, running the world turned out to be surprisingly easy. And I have to say, business was booming. With his network of hackers and terrorists in place, Zhang suggested that Deus Group look in a new direction. Industrial espionage was yesterday's work. What better way to gain leverage on everyone than if everyone was connected? Uh, during my service in the Congress, uh, I took the initiative in creating the Internet. The United States was a test case. Americans seemed the most ready to give their lives over to a box. Without hesitation, everyone jumped online. Welcome. You've got mail. Offered everything they had. Bank accounts, electric bills, medical records, DNA data, baby pictures. We staged the biggest coup in human civilization, and the whole world volunteered to take part, opted in, checked the box, and clicked, I agree. With the Deus Group behind it, E Corp became the world's biggest front. With every new device we rolled out, there was a new way for the Deus Group to manipulate the public. But as the world embraced the digital age, we began to see that Zhang had been perfectly positioning himself to take total control. Zhang's billion-dollar machine. He clandestinely built it under the Washington Township nuclear power plant. The Deus Group now understood we were working for Zhang, not with him. His pet project, which we'd belittled for years, had been the singular purpose of the Deus Group all along.